Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Watch Chingon Radio Show Podcast. I am your host, Juan Mendoza. The show is being brought to you by Lila Lisa Promotions, sponsored by Marasul Tequila, the new face of tequila. On this week's show, we have the one, the only, George Salazar. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for being with us here. Of course, the show is being brought to you by Lila Lisa Promotions and sponsored by Marasul Tequila, the new face of tequila. Hope everybody's having a great day, a great week, and uh, coming to you for the first time in 2023. Brand new interviews uh, streaming live here on Facebook, on my personal page, and of course on Mastering on Radio, and of course on Lila Lisa Promotions uh, page. So hopefully you guys are enjoying a great year so far. Happy New Year going out to everybody. Hope you had a great uh, holiday season. Uh, hello to Miss Norma Salazar. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we've got our first interviewer of the 2023 season. So ladies and gentlemen, all the way from uh, Holland, Michigan, we have Mr. George Salazar. What's going on, George? Hey, nothing much. Just here. How's Just everything going over there? Time. <laughs> Doing really good. The weather's, the weather's really surprisingly really warm over here. We're in the 40s. I'm surprised for a winter. It, it was a warm winter. It wasn't really cold this year. Right, right. We did have a snowstorm here on christmas so we actually did have a white christmas <laughs> oh really we didn't get none of oh, that yeah. we're we're still out here in shorts and flip-flops <laughs> yeah my wife keeps telling me we need to move to san antonio we need to move to texas i'm like yeah i don't know i like winter <laughs> I, I really honestly like the snow <laughs> yeah no you don't want to move down here especially in the summertime it's way too hot too many mosquitoes the humidity is real crazy and it's, it's oh, not good during the me. summertime yeah well, you know so, what? I'm originally from Edinburgh, Texas, so uh, you know I oh, grew okay. up over there. So, <laughs> oh yeah, and it's how, hot. <laughs> and how long you been up there in Michigan? Uh, I've been up here since 1987. Oh, okay. So you're not used to the Texas weather anymore, then? <laughs> no, no, not no. at all. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. So, so, how was your how was your holiday? Holiday was nice, quiet, um, relaxing, did a lot of uh, community service, you know, going and ringing the bells for mm -hmm. Salvation Army. Um, did that on Thanksgiving, during Thanksgiving, and I did it during Christmas. My wife had me all over the map doing stuff like that. <laughs> and, you know, uh, the first time I was ringing them bells, boy, I was ringing them bells. I was cold. I seen you traveled every so often everywhere around, so... You know what? Um, we've been blessed, and we we uh, watch our finances very closely, and we save up for Las Vegas, for Milwaukee. Um, last year, we went to Texas, went to the recording studio, Gilbert Velasquez, and um, with Eddie Perez. Uh, so, you know, recorded that album. So I'm, I'm, man, it was beautiful. San Antonio, I never been there. The river yeah. was like no other. <laughs> the Riverwalk's always awesome to go to. There's, there's a lot to do yeah. in the Riverwalk. All the restaurants, all the stores, just just walking around. You know, that it's a long walk, so you'll get tired by the yeah. end. <laughs> um, I had my first water burger over there. <laughs> nice, nice. I love water burger. Any chance we get here? In, we live in a little town between San Antonio and Laredo, so we don't have a water burger around here. All we have is uh, McDonald's. We have Dairy Queen. We have Wendy's. And that's pretty much it. And I think one more, but any chance we get to go out of town and hit, hit with the water burger, that's, that's always a good thing. We, we always love the water burger. Awesome. Uh, let's I see. Let's give out some a picture with a hat. Nice. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, let's give out some shout outs here. Uh, Miss Laura Sines from uh, Leona promotions. She's tuning in. Ooh, Thank yeah. you so much. Uh, Eli Perez. He said, Puro party, Texas T DJ in the house. Go George <laughs> Salazar. Uh, we have Ray DJ X Ray. In the house, he says, shout out going out to the Golden Voice, Mr. George Salazar. Oh, uh, let's see who else we you. have here. Michelle Rodriguez. She sent up, uh, can't tell what that is. It uh, looks like a middle finger, but I'm not, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I guess some fingers up there. Some fingers up in the comments. Oh, yeah, no. I don't think they're middle fingers. Yeah, I don't think they're middle fingers. Uh, let's see. We have uh, Luna Slice, the voice, George. All right. Uh, we have Mr. Gil Gonzalez. Saludos uh, desde Encinitas, California. All the way from California. Thank oh, you so California. much for being with us. Wow. Uh, Susan Solis. Hello, everyone. How you doing? We're doing great. Oh, Thank Susie. you, Susan, for tuning in. Susie. 
Uh, he, he says, DJ X-Ray says you need to come back to Texas. Uh, we'll get into that discussion <laughs> here in a little bit. Uh, oh, yeah. They're saying hi to each other. It's a good thing. Uh, Pro Party, yeah. George oh. Salazar, he said he loves your songs. Uh, and they're you, talking uh, back and forth. Really. Uh, That's um, good. So, That's yeah, good. Are, you, are, you, are you coming back to Texas anytime soon? Um, actually, we are in the works, and we are actually discussing about that, and we might be headed to Texas. During a uh, fanfare? Or? Um, that is a discussion that we are having, and we're trying to see if it's going to work for us. I remember in our first interview, you and I, we did talk about fanfare. And yeah. I said, hopefully in the future, you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> if it wasn't last year, it was going to be this year. So, you know, maybe it might be in the works, you know, if, if the time is right and uh, the promoters and the people that uh, have fanfare going on and request and want it and like the album, you know, I would definitely go down there. Definitely. Nice. Uh, for those people who don't know, you know, people like in California and stuff who don't know what fanfare is, uh, here in San Antonio, Fanfare is a four-day event, usually during spring break. It goes from Thursday to Sunday. Uh, four-day free event, Market Square, downtown San Antonio. Uh, over 100, 200 artists are out there all day long from 12 o'clock noon all the way to about 10, 11 o'clock at night. And then you got the after parties that happen all the way to about 2 o'clock in the morning. So it's it's a busy weekend. It's busy for the artists. It's busy for radio. It's busy for everybody to go out there and have a good time. So that's what that is. If you ever get a chance to come out to Texas, Fanfare is a place to hit up. Like I said, it's free. Yeah, yeah. A place gets packed. There's five stages in the whole place, and it's just it's a good time, and it's good for artists to come out there and meet and greet and stuff. So, and there's always things going on during, in town, you know, for the family. You know, you got Market Square, you got uh, the River Walk, you got all the stores and all the ev other events, the side events going on, especially spring break. So, it's a good time to go out there and have a good uh, have fun. So hopefully you get to come out here. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Hey, well, uh, congratulations on your awards. I, I, I seen that you uh, received some awards here. Uh, a while yeah, ago, no. So congratulations. I never was able to congratulate you and, and say, <laughs> hey, man, keep doing what no, you're thank, doing because you know what? You're doing great. Great. No, thank you. We were, uh, we were actually blessed last year. You know, this, it was coming out of the pandemic thing and uh yep. january last year a year actually ago already i, I got inducted into the Tahoe roots hall of fame so that was pretty good for me mm -hmm. um i also received an award out there in houston for the uh a legacy award out there in, in houston uh with our good friend out there rudy buga Perales, who was uh, with grupo quemado still grupo quemado that's his band and uh he has a uh, an event that goes on every few months or something like that and then uh in november they had the Brownsville Music Legacy Awards, and Lila and myself yes. both both received an award for a Legacy Award. So it was, it was a good year. And now in 2023, you know, we're starting off good. Now we're getting heard in Mexico. Uh, we got we just brought on a DJ from New Mexico, and it's it, everything's are looking up so far. We just got hit up for an event, a big event in San Antonio in April. So we're gonna be staying busy this year, I think. Now with fan for too. So that's awesome. It's it's pretty good. But no, I appreciate it. Um, let's see who else we got here. Uh, Araceli Fuentes, she said, saludos. Uh, she's listening in. She's watching. Uh, Palmview, Texas. La probadita. Yes. Uh, Palmview, Texas in the house. We have H-Town in the house. Uh, H-Town. Uh, right. Dave Fernandez. Uh, Susan Solis from Amarillo, Texas. Yes, yeah, so let us know where you guys are listening from. Um, Eli Perez, Palmview, Texas. Uh, Araceli Fuentes, of course. Thank you for tuning in. She's got some awesome music. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Let's see. Anita Rodriguez, uh, don't forget to take your tambourine. Your tambourine girl. <laughs> that used to be my tambourine girl when I was in a band. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, let's yeah. see. Who else we got? We got uh, DJ Lyric. DJ Lyric, thank you so much for tuning in. Awesome DJ out DJ there. Lyric. Uh, Roxanne, Roxanne Mendoza, Roxy Grupo Tejas from uh, Eagle Pass. She says, uh, hi, oh, nice. saludos, Roxy Grupo Tejas. She's got some awesome oh, music out there, too. Uh, Araceli Fuentes, hello. Uh, Anita Rodriguez, uh, Fanfare is a very packed location and needs to be expanded elsewhere. Texans need to come to Mexican Fiesta in Milwaukee. 
Wisconsin. They can definitely <laughs> show Texans how the Midwest does it. Uh, I think Lila's actually been to the, the festival out there in Milwaukee. She said it gets good out there. So I never been north of yeah. I never been north of Kansas. That was my limit. You know, after that I, okay. I never went any further. Um, let's see. Eli Perez says hello. Um, let's see who else we got here. DJ Lyric, Anita, uh, G Flow Gonzalez. Uh, he put a YouTube link. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's find out later. Saludos, Norma Salazar. And okay, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's always a good time to come out and, and showcase everything, you know, showcase your music at Fanfare. Um, so let's get a little bit of history on you. How long exactly have you been singing and performing? Um, um, I started in Cal um, when I was in about like maybe seven o'clock. Um, and I yeah, I think his I think his mic is acting up here. Uh, for those of you watching, and of course those of you listening, uh, we're having little technical difficulties on on George's end. Um, I don't know, it might be internet connection, but. Uh, we want to really do thank you guys for being with us here. We are interviewing Mr. George Salazar from uh, Holland, Michigan, a uh, great artist. And um, Salazar, you know what? We're going to go ahead and play a song here. He's got a brand new one while we wait for him to come back on. Yeah, there you are. Uh, there you are. Okay. Um, I was going to okay. say, let's, let's go ahead and take a break anyways. And, I'm um, sorry. We'll... When I get Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a break real quick and we'll uh, we'll come back with Mr. George Salazar. We're going to go play one of his songs real quick. And this one is called Prefiero Amor, one of his latest ones right here. We're here on the Master Go Radio Podcast. Prefiero amor, ma 
All right, we're here with Mr. George Salazar, and that was just one of his latest. That one was called <laughs> Prefiero Amor, right here on the Master Go Radio Podcast. If you guys are just tuning in, thank you guys so much. Please share the show. Please share on all your uh, pages and let them know that we're here. We're interviewing Mr. George Salazar, and you just heard a song right there. Awesome song, man. That's pretty cool. Thank you. The classic. Thank you. Thank classic you. Tejano um, style. I do want to say I apologize. Yeah, that's a... I want to apologize. Uh, when my phone, if somebody's calling me, it'll it'll automatically just shut me off until I hang up. Oh yeah, so I'll be back. I'll be right back on if, if that happens. I apologize. Um, <laughs> no, no, no but worries. That was a, an Aldaco. That was a Danny Aldaco, Jr. Aldaco in the Midwest All Stars. He uh, he actually um, we re re uh, made that song. He sang that song back. Uh, I want to say in the nineties. Or 80s, I'm not sure, on the Johnny Canales show. It's on mm -hmm. YouTube. You know, Danny was sharing it with me. He says, you know what? I want to remake this one. This one was designed, you know, for the girl that we had, you know. And so a long story short, his brother, Ernie Aldaco, rest in peace, he wrote mm -hmm. the song and uh, along with Amor Joven. Um, so he wrote the songs and he said, hey, George, um, you want to try it? You know, you want to see if you can get these songs down and i said sure why not and uh <laughs> Piero Amor came out and i was just like really happy with it <laughs> you know yeah it was a challenge was a good, yeah it's a catchy tune and you could you could tell it has an aldaco style to it the the midwest all-star style the, oh, yeah. the group aldaco from back then they were called oh, yeah. group aldaco you could tell it's got that that style to it it's a, it's a great song and we're, ha we're happy to have it here on the station um so right before we got cut off, uh, I guess you were getting a text or something. Um, how long have you been in the industry? How long yeah. have you been singing and performing? Uh, singing Tejano music uh, back in, I started uh, 1997 or 98 with a group called Sierra from Holland, mm -hmm. Michigan. Uh, the Martinez brothers and the Ortizes, you know, they all got together with Mari and Erica. You know, they, they, it was it was such a great, great, great uh group and our, my first performance was at the big house university of michigan you know nice. uh, so um but i've been singing ooh, wait, like first uh seven years old in california woodlake california my mom has pictures of me with my mariachi suit on and the florico girls beside me and <laughs> i i don't know what i was doing i don't remember but i know i was singing you know <laughs> yeah so i've been singing you know uh for a long time, you know, I was seventh in the whole state of Texas in uh, my senior year. Um, nice, you know, I was I made Meister Singers and Edinburgh, Edinburgh Bobcats. Go Bobcats! You know, go Bobcats. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's, go that's Bobcats, good. 1984. Yeah, that's good. I mean, uh, you know, we we came about uh, getting to know each other here the past uh, couple years ago. You know, you were with another band. And uh, since then, yes, of course, sir. you went on yes, your sir. own and doing very well. I mean, you you got together with the Aldaco family and you came out with a couple songs, uh, I think about two years ago, a couple yep. Christmas ones that we had a pleasure of playing for a while, you know, especially during the, the holiday season. You guys got got together and, and recorded a couple songs and yeah, uh, also did one last year. Juan, that was a hard song. Uh, that Miss You Most at <laughs> Christmas Time from Mariah Carey. That was a challenge. He was like, you know what? Here, here's this song, you know, and gave me the arrangement, sent it to me. And then in two weeks, uh, we'll, we'll record it. So I get there in two weeks and I, I was like, I don't know what he wants with this song. So in actuality, that song was recorded in, in an hour and a half, you know, and just, it just came out. It just, it just literally just, hey, do this, do that, do this, do that. And that was because my wife was like, you can't hit that note. Let me get some pinzas. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> was, was, was that a, was that a one take? Or did, was that a one take? Or did you guys have to edit so much? Um, actually, <laughs> uh, it was, it was, it was, I would want to say two hours. It, I'll, I'll say an hour uh, and a half. And then the other 30 minutes, just, I left it like that. And I let him do his thing. You know, nice. I just went down, laid down vocals and said, here you go. And, and I said, you know what, uh, do your magic, do what you got to do. But mm -hmm. um, that was a very challenging song because I kept questioning it. Mariah Carey, are you for real? Yeah, no, uh, <laughs> that's a girl song. 
I don't want to do a girl song, you know. <laughs> I'll do something <laughs> like the Beatles or something, or something like you know, like Michael Bublé, you know, or you know, yeah. change it up. But you know, it it came out really good. I got a lot of good feedback from that song. You know, yeah. the families would the... play it while they're doing their Christmas dinners. Yeah, What's it that? looked like it was just a. It looked like it was just a one take. You know, like somebody was just there with the camera and maybe a couple of different angles, and it was just you know spur of the moment yeah. type of thing. But it came out good. Um, let's see. Oh, you got else. the videos. I remember. Yeah, that. I do have the video still. Your mom can go on radio station uh, Christmas. Um, yeah, it was it those, was for. The amor yeah, had, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Those were the words. I think we were the, yeah, I think we were the first ones to actually get those songs and the videos. Uh, but it was during the holiday season. We did our little kind of impromptu type uh, award show based off our top twenty countdowns and stuff like that. So, and you guys had participated because yeah. it was it was still in the semi pandemic type of thing so we weren't able to do much yeah so a lot of artists in, in their performances which turned out pretty cool and you guys were you know between you and uh junior and the midwest all-stars and the you know everything came out perfect you know I, I loved it so thank you guys for that uh let's see we got michael j barra and yvonne uh yvonne ramos out there in uh ohio tuned in yvonne ramos oh, uh they're tuned in they say keep up the good work yes they do awesome, awesome oh, work. She's she's a sweetheart. Yeah, Michael her is new a song. phenomenal keyboard player. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. They came out with a recent song, and it came out pretty good. It's been on our countdown quite a few times. So, uh, big shout out going out to them. Uh, let's see, Eli Perez. He was DJing for an event at McAllen Elks back in Halloween event, October twenty twenty two. Norma and George walk in, and he sang a couple songs. It was an amazing night. Hope to see you Actually, soon. Yes. Yes. Uh, I, we, I had just finished that day having an interview with Flaco. Um, uh, he was in Brownsville. And then mm -hmm. I came down and he called us up and says, hey, I'm at the Elk in McAllen, Texas. And would you love to sing the songs that you have out there? And I did. And the people were like, who? I had this one guy. I got to <laughs> share this with you. I had this one guy come up to me. It's like, oh, shoot. They do. He goes, he goes, who the? are you and i go uh my name is george i'm from holland michigan i'm just visiting and he goes man where did you come from we've never heard these songs <laughs> <laughs> they loved it they i was just like floored i was just like oh okay you know thank you you know i a uh, baby go <laughs> yeah but it was good it was really good yeah thank uh, you the music wow yeah <laughs> yeah those are good little stories i like to i like to hear these little stories it's good um like I said, everybody, oh. if you guys are just tuning in, we thank you guys so much for being with us here. This is our first show of the year. Uh, we haven't done an interview since before Christmas time, I think right after uh, Thanksgiving. So we're getting back into the groove of it. You will see us uh, here every single Wednesday. Uh, we're lined up all the way till fanfare time. Next week, uh, we're going to have Sonny Salceda is going to be on the show next week. Same time, same place. All right. I know we have um, Miss Sarah Monique is going to be joining us here pretty soon. I know we're going to have a bunch of other uh, artists that are going to be stopping by, so uh, get ready for that. Every single Wednesday night, same time, same place on our Facebook channel. Also, it'll be available on Spotify later on tonight, so make sure you guys uh, tune in whenever you guys want to. Uh, I know Spotify now has videos, so make sure you guys check out our podcast videos on Spotify, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And, of course, on our website, right. MasteringOnRadio.com. And a uh, big shout-out going out to Lila Lee Spermuth, my wife, uh, who, who, who's a uh, head of that right there? You can see yes. her name, Lila Lee's Promotions. And uh, you check out her website as well, Lila Lee's Promotions.com. Um, so, what are, you guys, what are you guys working on these days? Um, right now, I'm still, uh, I'm still working on that album. The album should be out by the end of this month. And hopefully, uh, all the CDs should be all ready to go by the second week of February, you know, for purchase. Nice. Um, nice. Again, you get, once that's out, there's going to be on all digital platforms. I'm working. I'm working with actually your wife, uh, Lila, and I'm with Leona Promotions also as well. And Aaron Tex Gonzalez. You know, he's mm -hmm. he's an amazing guy. He's very very smart, very intelligent. Yeah. For somebody who is just starting out and doesn't know the industry, doesn't know the ins and outs. Wow, 
I would strongly <laughs> recommend that individual. He is a smart one. Well, because um, I, Aaron, I, I, Aaron, I really honestly don't Aaron, know much. <laughs> well, Aaron's been in the business longer than appears to be. You know, he's mm -hmm. I've known we've known him for quite a few years, and uh, he, of course, he his profession was he's an uh, how he's he flies the airplanes. He's a pilot by trade, so that's yep. that was pretty much yep. his business. Um, but he got into the tunnel quite a bit, you know, he started learning the ropes, you know, promoting and learning how to, uh, mm -hmm. market your, your business. And so that's what he's doing nowadays. Uh, so he's been in the business quite a bit and it's just now yeah. he's getting out there in the forefront, you know, learning, meeting artists and meeting bands and the promoters and the publishers and everything else. So that's what he's getting into, but yeah, sure I'm going out to Tex, uh, Tex does an awesome job. Uh, the promoters as oh, well, yeah. like you mentioned, yeah. uh, Leona, she's, she does awesome work and uh we do get her emails almost daily as long, as much as all the rest of the promoters out there we do get their emails daily and all the new music that does come out she's, so we can have on the station she's a, she's a sweetheart. she's a sweetheart i get a lot of people that uh text my wife uh, a lot of people texting me hey uh, how can we get your song how can we uh, you know i'm a dj over here in arizona i'm a dj over here in california i'm a dj in in, in the valley i'm a dj in texas and i'm thinking okay um so i feel i feel pretty bad because i i have to always like reach out to to laura and say hey laura here's the email hey laura here's their email <laughs> you know and she's like uh, she goes that's my job don't worry about it don't feel bad you know and i'm always like oh thank you so much because they ask for Perfero Amor, they ask for Amor Joven, they, they're asking for Que Dolor, you know, yeah. and miss you most at Christmas time for Christmas. So it's like, it's overwhelming in a way. And and, and again, this is a hobby for me. Um, and mm -hmm. I hope and pray that, that the people, because this is for the people, this is not for me, you know, this is for them because they deserve to hear uh, new music, new songs, new arrangements, you know, um, and, Thing to take away from the the artists like the icons, you know, all those, you know, the Mas, the the, the Jimmy Gonzalez, uh, the Selinas, mm -hmm. the Emilios, all those other uh, the, the people that are that are well, well. But you got a lot of new artists out there. That's what I love about our station, and I like about your countdown, and I like about your video countdown is that they're new. And you yeah. get to listen to new stuff. You get to listen to like, whoa, where did this one come from? Wow. Like yeah. Ivan and Fuego, when they come out with their stuff, Motivo, when they come out, Deseo, when they came out with their stuff, you yeah. know? So, you know, and, and Danny, you know, and Danny come out with his stuff because Danny's the, man, Danny's the driver of that boat. That, that, that young man comes up with some music. Wow. He's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta say, a perfectionist yeah. and amazing. And Eddie yeah. Perez, nothing to take away from Eddie Perez. Wow, that guy is phenomenal. And this album, when it comes out, you're gonna love it. And you know what? I, I, I just know you're gonna love it. I've got a couple of songs in there um, that you're gonna be like, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, um, God, where did that one come from? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. We had a question. Uh, how do you find it in Spotify? Yeah. Um, you go to if you go to Spotify, you can you can check out. If they, I don't know if you can see it clear enough. It says Master Gone Radio uh, Podcast Tejano. So you can just search that, and you'll see all our shows. Uh, we ended up putting our top ten music video countdowns on there. Sorry, getting a phone call. Probably a request. Um, no. But anyways, you can you can uh, actually catch our top ten music video <laughs> countdowns on there now too. So um, yeah, just search it Spotify. It is free if you guys have a subscription. Um, but yeah, we like to have all the new music because you know it's we need to branch out the Hano music. You know, it's just you listen to the radio; it's the same thing mm -hmm. over and over. And we don't want to be that. We don't want to be another cliche yeah. because I didn't yeah. I didn't get into this business to be a cliche. Yeah. I don't want to be that. I want to be original. I want to try right. and experience different things. I want to think out of the way out the box. And so that's that's pretty much how we we want to do it. We don't want to do everything that's already been done that's, since the nineties. That's what I one hundred. It, yeah, and I want I, I want to fully, fully just tell you from the bottom of my heart, I respect that, I love that, and I like how you bring things to life and your opinions. You know, hey, they are <laughs> well met and they're well. I get in trouble out, for that sometimes. You know what? I'm just being sincere with you. You know what? You know what, Juan? But you know what? You're gonna have your pros and cons. You're gonna have your likers. You're gonna have your haters. Yeah. You're gonna have everything. In life, you can't please everybody. 
But you know yeah. what? What you can do is put everything in God's hands and say, you know what? Take care of it. You're the guy that's steering my life, my boat, and the people out there also as well. So, you know, hey, yeah. do what you got to do because it needs to be said. It needs to be heard. And we need to change. We need to break that cycle. Yeah. And we're, we're, we're eventually, it's going to happen eventually. You know, a lot of things are going to change. And uh, that's for a whole different discussion later on down the line. You know, if you really want to get into depth with that. But, um, yeah, we, you know, we want to. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, I respect. Yeah. No, because, you know, we I have these conversations and I had I one this you. morning. <laughs> I, had, I had it this morning with, uh, with, a, with a fellow DJ uh, from another station. And we're getting into depth with all that. And it's. <laughs> It's uh, one of those conversations that you can carry on and carry on. And, you know, we try to find out exactly what's wrong with this industry. You know, everybody no, else moves. Carry on. I yeah, yeah. Make us... <laughs> everybody else carries on except for us. We're always stuck. But, yeah, yeah those are for <laughs> other conversations. You know, we try to have down the line. But, um, but no, like I said, the music is great. You know, you have, a, you have a great voice. You have great music out there. You have great people behind you. you uh, great you. production. Uh, the band's awesome, you know, yeah. Junior Aldaco and the Midwest All Stars. And um, so the new album's coming out. And let's see, let's go ahead and give a couple of shout outs here again. Uh, Araceli Fuentes, she said, Juan and Lila, love you both so much. Okay, we love you too, Araceli. Thank you for all your support as well. She's made her countdown quite a few. Uh, let's see, Chuy yeah. Chuyito Lopez. Hola, George Salazar's big event coming up this oh, summer. Yeah, and Chewy. In Muskegon, awesome. Muskegon. I hope I said that right. Uh, Dios Muskegon. bendiga, Muskegon. Uh, Mus July. Muskegon, okay, Muskegon, yes, yes. okay. Uh, Araceli Fuentes, the undercover haters don't like originality nor different. So, no, I agree with you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's my girl, uh, <laughs> yeah. I got Anita Rudell in there somewhere, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Henry Candelaria, this is uh, DJ Hendog, who's our brand new DJ out of New Mexico. So we just want to officially say welcome, DJ Hendog. A lot of people know him. A lot of people know him. He's well known, and he does his own web shows. Um, I think Tuesday and Thursday or something like that. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of Mastering on Radio. He's a part of us now, so you're gonna be seeing us everywhere. Uh, so yes. welcome to the show. He's a talk show in the house, DJ Hendog, New Mex Radio, uh, New Mexico Radio, New NGO. Mexico Radio. Yes, uh, Alicia Cintron, Alicia C says saludos, saludos, and uh, congratulations to you. You know, her song made it on our countdown, and uh, she's got a brand new music video out as well Ooh. that came out pretty good. So, and I think it's been hitting on our music video countdown. Um, my good friend, Mr. Eddie Olivo, my brother, Eddie Olivo out there in uh, California, saludos, oh, Eddie. Oh, saludos. Eddie. Uh, Eddie's one of those guys. I ended, I ended the year last year with, uh, doing an interview with him. Yeah, he's one of those guys that I that I can always turn to if I'm ever stuck, or need uh, music or need advice. He was one of those ones that I've I've always come to. You know, I've known him since I started uh, internet radio part of it. Uh, so big big shout out oh, going really? out to Eddie Olivo. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Uh, everybody else saying hi to each other. Thank you. Um, let's go ahead and get into another song real quick. Uh, one of your other newest ones, and uh, this one is called. Que dolor. Can you tell us about this one real quick? Que dolor um, is a song that I purchased. And I purchased a couple of songs from Jesse Villarreal from Florida. Uh, yeah. And you know Jesse. Jesse is yeah. phenomenal. Um, Great singer, songwriter. Song, if anybody needs to purchase a song, you know, I purchased them um, from him. And they are amazing. I brought them to life. This que dolor to this day still when I hear that song, it just gets me a little like emotional because it's not so much only for you know a couple, but it could be that that dolor, that hurt that you have. Yeah. Like when you're losing, you know, and the song is so well written. And when me and Eddie went into the studio, we just like he just like, oh man, are you for real? You know, and it, it, it's a great song. It's a great yeah. song, and and I love it. I love it. Nice. Well, let's go ahead and give it a listen real quick. Uh, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, this is George right. Salazar and Que Dolor. Vayas por favor 
profundo corazón Solo quiero ver Si te puedo convencer Que te quedes esta noche En mis brazos otra vez Pero dices que ya no sientes amor Que hace tiempo todo terminó Ay, que That was the latest right there by George Salazar and Que Dolor, right here on the Master Go Radio Podcast Show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Everybody who's tuning in, everybody who's been commenting, uh, let us know where you guys are from. Make sure you guys share the show. Really important you guys share the show. Next week, next Wednesday night, we're going to be having Sonny Sauceda. He just won a TTMA award uh, this past year. Congratulations going out to him. Sonny Sauceda y todo eso. Congratulations. We'll be having him next week on this show. Uh, George Salazar, we're here live with George Salazar, amazing cat out of uh, out of Holland, Michigan, great singer, and uh, we're we're happy to uh, see you again on on video. <laughs> we haven't met in person yet, but hopefully one of these days we can. I think we're having a little difficulty with the uh, with the hearing part of it again. Okay, while well, he arranges that, um, let's see who else we got here. I said, uh, congratulations, going out to Sunny Salceda. Uh, let's see, Lila Cervantes, my baby. She's uh, she's online. She says hello to everybody out there listening in. And uh, trying to get George uh, situated here. His, uh, <laughs> his AirPods went out again. But uh, we want to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, we want to thank our sponsors, Marasul Tequila. The new face of tequila, of course, they sponsored our banner here, and uh, this awesome bottle. They got a we got a whole case of these right here, and uh, if you guys go out to Fanfare, we're gonna try to take a couple of these bottles out there and make some mixed drinks. Uh, don't pay attention to the level that goes down every once in a while. The level of the <laughs> the contents it goes down, but this is some awesome tequila right here, and it's this flavored. They have uh, chocolates, pomegranates, mint, coffee uh habanero silver all kinds of stuff so if you're in the san antonio area uh you can get you some marasol tequila i think they have them at specs and they got them all at the other liquor stores 
So this is awesome tequila right here. So we want to thank um, Marasul Tequila. They are the new face of tequila. All right, let's see. I think he's trying to, uh, to get back in here again. Let's try to get him on the stream. All right, can you hear me? All right. Yeah. There you go. You got me? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to keep him entertained <laughs> no, for a little bit while you, while you figured it out. Thank you. Thank you. It's just that I keep getting a call, and it's my oh, okay. from back home, from Texas. Oh. So I'm just like, oh, I, I, I stop calling me because I'm on an interview <laughs> right now. You know? <laughs> tell him, tell him, leave you alone for a little bit. You can get back with him in a, minute, in a little bit. Yeah, out of all times, you're calling me. And, you know, yeah, I'm yeah. Like, oh, no, no. <laughs> uh, but, but no, um, no thank, you. Like said, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Now, the song was great. Uh, we love the song. Uh, I think it finally hit on our countdown. You know, I think it was at uh, 20. I think it was some. But so it's slowly, gradually climbing up there. So make sure you guys go to vote. Uh, if you guys want to find out where to go vote, go to MasteringOnRadio.com. Uh, on top, click the top 20 countdown button. Uh, search for George Salazar, and you can vote for him every single day. And uh, hopefully hits on our charts. Uh, let's see who else we got in here. We got a... Uh, Chris Savala, he says hello. How you, how you doing out there? Um, also, when you come down to when you when you come down to Texas, we need to get some of this, some Masol tequila. <laughs> That's some good stuff, man. Okay, I'll have one shot with. One shot with <laughs> well, we're gonna we're gonna be at the Internet Radio Gala, which is gonna be the Thursday, the 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 first day of Fanfare. They have the Internet Radio Gala. Okay. And it might be the last one because um, Vic Gonzalez, a uh, great friend of ours, he's the one that puts that, that event together. But his health, you know, is he has health concerns. Uh, so we're probably going to take some big jugs, you know, and make some mixed drinks so everybody can go out there with a cup and, oh my God. you know, have some mixed drinks and stuff. Wow. That's going to be the appetizer before the real party starts. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my but, God. But that's a good stuff. Um, but no, like I said, the song is great. Um, so you're, f you're fixing to release Thank the you. album next month. Um, do you have any other events going on? Um, the only thing I can think of right now is uh, Chewy, you know, um, from Muskegon. Um, he's, uh, he's got a great vision, and he's bringing Cena y, y, and... Uh, Celestina y Los Sanchez's um, Ilusión and um, Tomás Salazar, uh, his son has a trio, a group, three guys. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be great. It's going to be at the Rusty Salon in, in, in Muskegon, and it's going to be amazing. Also in Holland, I might be uh, performing here in Holland also as well. They're discussing um and it's in the works uh for july um for tulip time so if you find yourself not doing too much uh come on to michigan holland now uh, we got tulip <laughs> time going on over here it's it's a one whole week event and it's really really cool you know you get to see all these tulips <laughs> when i first got here yeah. i was like what is a tulip what's going on here <laughs> uh, you know so um yeah um and also um Hopefully, um, I'll be in Chicago and in in Hammond, Indiana. So I should be uh, touring the album. Is basically one thing that I have uh, in my mind, and it's a goal that I that I really, 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 really uh, want to put forth to life. And mm -hmm. um, not having a band is a very difficult thing to do. To be able to, you know, go out and. Uh, you know tour the album but i think right now in the works also as well um there is a band in mind that's going to uh, assist and help um it's not 100 percent confirmed um there is talk about a band that's going to tour the album and we're going to do some cover songs also as well because i love doing tennessee whiskey i don't know if you've heard my version <laughs> of it but <laughs> it, it it's quite the song yeah but yeah, there's a lot um, of things going so on and there's a lot of things brewing and God willing. Yeah. You're going to be doing a I, CD release sorry. party? You know what? I, I've i been talking to my wife about because my wife is my, you know, she promotes me. She's like my little manager here. In the city. 
tells me when and where and she's talking to people so uh um i want to say yes and i think that um i don't have the date just yet but i do want to do it in in our hometown here in holland and just uh all get together and just I want to have people listen to, you know, hey, hopefully here real soon. Yeah. Uh, if anybody wants to book you for an event, uh, where can they get with you at? Um, on my Facebook page. You know, right now uh, there is talk about um, they want to do a fan page um, where anybody and everybody can go on there and, and just like a blog, you know, just talk and, and ask questions and, you know, give me suggestions on what they want because I love constructive criticism. Um, mm -hmm. They could reach me, you know, through Facebook or Instagram. I do have Instagram also as well. Um, there's talk about TikTok. I don't know anything about TikTok. Don't get, don't get <laughs> started about that one. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I'm okay with Facebook and I'm okay with it. But that TikTok, I don't understand it. And I'm just too, yeah, you know, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> But nice. through Facebook and uh, through people that, that are my friends, you know, hey, text me, instant messenger. I get, I get a lot of uh, radio stations that uh, um, uh, message and message me on Facebook Messenger. And mm -hmm. uh, I do radio drops because they're like, hey, can you do a radio drop? Can you say this? Can you say that? And I'm just like, ah, I've never done that before. But OK, I I'll try it. <laughs> so I've been doing a couple of them, you know, for yeah. some of the radio radio stations. Yeah, that's always good. Keep you busy a little uh, bit. I do want to say thanks a lot. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Joe Casas from uh, Karaoke Joe. You know, he, Karaoke he's, Joe. He's such a great, great, great supporter. Also, as well. Yeah, Karaoke Joe is amazing. I just want to throw yeah. a shout out to that guy right there. Yeah. <laughs> he's and to um, yourself also as well, and everything that you and Lila do. Oh my God, Ray, Ray the DJ, Ray, Ray, Ray. Oh Ray, he's he's amazing. X-ray. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it's X-ray. <laughs> DJ X-ray. DJ X-ray. DJ X-ray. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many DJs out there. Uh, I want to just throw shout-outs. Yes. To, you know, but we don't have a yeah. lot of time. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Juan Macias. He says, "Saludos, saludos," and he says, "Hello, compadres." George Salazar. Uh, let's see. Uh, Susan Solis I'm said, "Hi, good. George. Great interview. Really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys share it." Um, we're fixing to reach the end of our interview here, but we want to thank everybody so much for tuning in. Okay. Uh, thank you, George. Thank you to Norma. Yes. Uh, for all your support as well with uh, Lila and myself. And uh, we're going to continue on uh, supporting you guys. We can't wait for the new album to come out. Uh, let us know when it does come out so that we can uh, maybe yeah. do another little show and um, put some more music on the countdowns for, for everybody. So uh, you guys gotcha. are doing awesome out there. You guys, shout out going out to you. Everybody else out there in Holland, Michigan, everybody in Michigan and Wisconsin area, everybody out there in the Ohio area, and yeah. everybody in the Midwest, you know, can't forget those guys. And uh, Junior Adako and the Midwest All-Stars kicking ass out there, man, doing awesome work. So big shout out going out yes, to them. And uh, just thank you as well for all your love and support for us here at the station. Uh, everything that we do, you know, it's, it's, for, it's for Tahano Music. So that's what we're here for. Yes, sir. For the people, always. Always. All right, but uh, thank you so much for being with us, George. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sign off here, but uh, any shout-outs that you want to give out anymore? Did we lose him again? I think we lost you for a second. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Any more, no, any more, any more shout-outs? Thank you. Shout outs to uh, all the musicians, um, Gilbert Velasquez on the album, Chente Barrera, um, Mario Ortiz Jr., Eddie, um, his son, uh, Daniel Garcia, Orlando, um, everybody, everybody that had a part to do with this album. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, and again, uh, to uh, also, J.R. Valderas, uh, who did the photography, uh, my professional photography for the cover of the album, front and mm. back and inside. So, um, and Aaron Tex Gonzalez, big, big, huge shout 
out to him, Laura, uh, signs from Luna Promotions and Laura, uh, also your wife as well. You know, she's, she's, she's out there, she's doing her thing and, and you also as well. Thank you so much. Um, again, God bless, thank you so much, wife uh, who pushes me and does everything for me, literally. But, <laughs> but you know, behind the man, there's a, there's like a great, 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 you know, that does everything. Yeah. Almost everything because we got to do our part. But um, yeah. there's going to be some uh, good things coming. And I just want to thank everybody. I just want to thank everybody. Eddie Perez. No, no, there no. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. All right. Yes, sir. All right, well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're here with George Salazar. Make sure you guys tune in every single Wednesday. Next week, we're going to have Sunny Salceda. Uh, we have Miss Sarah Monique uh, coming soon. Angel Jimenez, up and comer, Angel Jimenez. She's going to be joining us pretty soon. Eddie Ray Varela. We have Nacido. Uh, we have Danny Farias and Pete Ibarra, which, who was the original accordion player for Emilio. They're going to be joining us here pretty soon. Uh, heading into March, we're going to have Grupo Sendero. And we're going to have uh, Ronnie Lucero, uh, a.k.a. Romelo. And uh, we got a couple more interviews uh, we lined up that we're going to actually need to promote and push out there. So, But thank you so much, George. Thank you to Norma. Thank you to everybody for tuning in. We really do appreciate right. it. This is the first of many. We just want to say Happy New Year going out to everybody. Have a great 2023. Make this year a great year. And uh, thank you so much for everything. Thank you for having me and happy new year and 2023. Watch out. <laughs> there you go. All right. And thank you to my baby, Lila Cervantes, Lila Lisa Promotions, my better half. Also, thank you to our sponsors, Marasul Tequila, yeah. the new face of tequila. Make sure you guys get a bottle. I got to say that or else I get sued. <laughs> no, I won't. But uh, thank you guys <laughs> for so much for everything. No, we, we love Marasul Tequila. Right. They're, they're awesome people. So, uh, But thank you guys, everybody out there. Make sure you guys uh, share the video. It will be available on Spotify. Make sure you guys search Mastering on Radio Podcast on Spotify and you can rewatch it. Rewatch it on YouTube and rewatch it on Facebook. And uh, st uh, stay tuned. Next week, we'll be back. All right. Thank you, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mastering on Radio Show Podcast. I am your host, Juan Mendoza. The show is being brought to you by Lila Lisa Promotions, sponsored by Marasul Tequila, the new face of tequila. On this week's show, we have the one, the only, George Salazar. 